This is alternative political analysis and this video will be on a potential third world war and this looks increasingly likely as the Trump administration uh, ups its military militarily aggressive rhetoric towards North Korea and North Korea says it will take preemptive nuclear munitions strike if it believes that the US would go to war with it and is planning for a war with it and that is c the condition and unfortunately it looks like that neither Pyongyang nor the Washington District of Columbia will take heed and back off or try and decrease the temperature at all diplomatically or militarily and quite frankly this third world war would be a disaster and to demonstrate this I will go through the respective um, military strength, military budgets and populations of those that would be participating as you can see with the diagram in front of you this is how I think the sides would line up anyway North Atlantic Treaty Organization countries have a combined population of 1 billion and a combined military expenditure of 36.2 trillion and total combined military personnel of 7,300,000 South Korea has 3.5 million personnel and 36.4 billion dollars military budget and it has 51 and a half million people Japan has 300,000 military personnel 41 billion dollar budget and 126.7 million people Taiwan has 1.9 million million military personnel and a 10 billion dollar budget and 23.5 million people. Ukraine has 1.2 million personnel, 5 billion dollar budget, and 42.6 million people. Australia has 85,000 personnel, 23.6 billion dollar budget, and 24.5 million people. New Zealand has 11,000 personnel, 2.14 billion dollar budget. 4.8 million people Saudi Arabia 233,500 personnel 87.2 billion dollar budget 33 million people Midnight in Israel 640,000 personnel 18.6 billion dollar budget and 8.7 million people Kurdistan they have 344,000 personnel and a population of 28 million and as you can see I've also listed um, Wahhabi death gangs in the Western co well the pro-Western coalition and Islamic State they have 47,000 to 357,000 personnel Al Qaeda it's believed to have between 47,000 and 67,000. Arar al Sham are believed to have 20,000 people, and Ansar al Sharia have 7,000 people. Um, and this brings us on to Thailand, which has 551,000 personnel, a $6.1 billion budget, and 68 million people. Jordan has 165,000 military personnel, 2.5 billion dollar budget, and 10 million people. 
Morocco, 345,000 personnel, 4.7 billion dollar budget, and 34 million people. Egypt, 918,000 personnel, 5.5 billion dollar budget, and 93 million people. Djibouti has 245,000 personnel, 3.6 million dollar budget, and 847,000 people. Pakistan has 1,156,000 military personnel, 7.6 billion dollar budget, and 202 million people. Turkmenistan has 22,000 military personnel, a $198 million budget, and 5 million people. Singapore has 1.4 million personnel, and an $8.83 billion budget, and 5.6 million people. And this brings us on to the rest of the Gulf Council. Kuwait has 39,000 personnel, $15 billion budget, and 4.3 million people. Bahrain has 8,000 personnel, $1.3 billion budget, and 1.4 million people. Qatar has 12,000 personnel, $2 billion budget and 2.6 million people. United Arab Emirates have 51,000 personnel, $22.8 billion budget and 10 million people. And this brings us on to the other side of the conflict. Russia has 2.9 million personnel, $66 billion budget and 147 million people. China has 2.9 personnel, or 2.9 million personnel, I beg your pardon, 215 billion dollar budget, and 1.4 billion people. Iran has 873,000 military personnel, a 10 billion dollar budget for military expenditure, and 83 million people. Syria has a quarter of a million personnel, a 3.3 billion dollar budget and 17 million people. And North Korea has 7.7 million personnel, a 10 billion dollar budget and 25 million people. And Iraq has 803,000 military personnel and a $20.8 billion budget and 38 million people. Lebanon has 80,000 military personnel, a $1.3 billion budget and 6.2 million people. Abkhazia has 56,000 people or 56,000 military personnel I beg your pardon and 47.25 million dollar budget and 242,000 people in its population. Hezbollah has between 11,000 and 65,000 military personnel and its budget is believed to be between 60 million dollars and 200 million dollars. As for the rest of these I don't have the military budget despite searching but I will give you the military personnel and respective populations in any case. Transnistria has 
eighty-seven and a half thousand military personnel and a population of five hundred and fifty-five thousand. South Australia has military personnel count of sixteen thousand and its population is fifty-four thousand. Nagorno Karabakh has thirty thousand military personnel and its population is a hundred and fifty thousand. Now Lugansk has a population of two point two million and Donetsk has a population of four point three million and they have a combined military strength of forty five thousand and basically while the West may win such a war I think I've demonstrated enough facts there to suggest that the cost of doing so in terms of loss of human life financial and economic costs of war, ban the weapons, ban the ammunition, the cost of travel and transportation, which would makes the war quite frankly not worth it, despite the fact that these countries may gain control of other resources. It is just a terrible idea <laughs> and Washington District of Columbia would be wise to stop with the intense and provocative rhetoric towards Pyongyang, towards Tehran towards Damascus as the, there is no end game that is positive for any party to this conflict and I'd recommend that viewers check out alternative political analysis YouTube channel subscribe check out the blog the Facebook page and the Twitter for more interesting posts and videos including on this subject.